what's up this is Chris from Metrofame so a lot of clones and copies of the iPhone 6 just came out recently and um, but it's maybe hard uh, actually for some people to make the mind up on which one suits them best and the pros and cons of, of, of each copies and each clones so Basically, this is why uh, here at Electroflame we decided to make a special video review here uh, in order to compare the, the three different clones we advertise uh, at this time on our website at www.electroflame.com. So, which means uh, here on the left, so we had the Thunderbird uh, Wiko i6. Here in the middle, we have the new one, which is the Thunderbird uh, Wiko i6 HD, also called uh, the, the V Phone i6, for example and does have other names too depending on, on on where it is advertised and the last one which is the Star Kingland T6 so basically we will go uh, through around about 10 points uh, maybe a bit more you know and we'll try to, to, to check out uh, what kind of differences we have between all those clones and and maybe this will help you to, to actually decide uh, which one is the best uh, for you before making the, this purchase decision. So, so point number one, let's talk about the size and the weight. So, here this is uh, the Wiko i6, so first of the name basically. So, just to, to let you know actually the, the quick remark, you know, but the, the first one we were advertising on our website was actually 512 megabytes of RAM and uh, 4 gigabytes of internal memory. Okay, now the the one we currently sell is actually 1 gigabyte of RAM and at least 8 gigabytes uh, of internal memory. So this one is actually the old version, but there's only the hardware inside which is different the screen and actually the, the the back cover are actually all the same so this is why we decided to 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 show it to you but it's actually the same so we will actually consider that this one is the wiko i6 so one eight gigabytes the new one which is the the wiko i6 sd and here's the starting gun t6 so let's talk about the size and the weight so for the point number one so here the the wiko i6 has uh, dimensions very close by the original iPhone, so it's like 138 by 67 by 7.3 millimeters. So it's just a little different, slight, slight difference for the thickness of the phone, and uh, so it's only like basically around about 3, 0.3 millimeters difference. So. So the good point with that is like actually all the the accessories like the, the, the cases and the hardcover case and everything should fit on this phone because the, the difference is just so slight and uh, so little little so it, it, you you will be able to use actually all the different accessories on it. Um, regarding the weight we have here actually 113.5 grams so it's quite light for a smartphone it's even like not weird but it's, it's very very light and uh, it's almost like we don't feel anything in our hand to be honest so otherwise regarding the, the new one so the Wiko i6 HD so same actually it's even closer it's really a copy one to one of the of the original one so you don't have to worry about anything it's like really everything will fit on it so all cases you can buy it no problem at all uh, so the dimensions are 138.2 by 67 by 7 millimeters. so it's really exactly the same and even the screen is kind of uh, we'll see that later so for the weight is actually um, heavier this time so it's like 129 grams so the same like the original one and um, so it's more heavy and we, we feel it more in our hands it's actually more comfortable in in one way you know the other one is maybe for some people too light and we don't feel it and this one at least we can feel we have something on our hands you know so and the last one so the, the star king and t6 um, this one is actually uh, very different so we have still 138 by 67 which is the, the same length and width of the of the original one however the thickness is this time 8.1 millimeters so it's one point yeah around about 1.2 millimeters more so in this case you know you you will probably not be able actually to to, 
to use any official uh, accessories. I mean, for the accessories, I mean this uh, this time the, the cases. So you might not be able to to use uh, some of them. Maybe the the silicone ones or this kind of extendable uh, cases. You might be able to use it, but not really the, the hardcover case. So regarding the weight, we have here uh, almost the same like the Wico i6. So 112.3 grams compared to 113.5 grams. So these two phones are almost the same, and this one is actually more uh, more I mean heavier basically. So this is all we have to know uh, for the size and the weight. So this one is really a copy one to one exact copy. Uh, you can use whatever you want, and this is the the heaviest one among the three of them. And um, and that's it, and this one is the, the most different uh, among the, the three of them. Point number two, let's talk about body. So here, for the Wico i6, we have actually a plastic back cover. So this is quite a tough plastic, but still plastic. And the back cover, so the body is not removable, so you have to deal with that. Uh, you cannot take it off, so it's like the, the real iPhone, impossible to take it off. So you have here, um, so the plastic back cover, non removable. Regarding the, the new Wico i6 HD, same, non removable. However, this time, this time we have a tough, tough back cover, so this is like in metal aluminum, so alloy. Um, very resistant, and, uh, and this is why she. The, I mean, this is one part of why the, the the smartphone is heavier than the other ones. And otherwise, the last one, the Star Kingdom T6, is still in plastic, like the Wico i6. However, this time we can just take it off, so we can open, and we can have access right away actually to the SIM card and the SD cards. So. It can be actually quite cool if you want to change it from time to time or if you break it or if you want to have like actually a different access to a quick access to some different things. Number three, the screen and the, the general appearance of the phone and the design. So for the Wico i6, uh, what we have here is actually, so we have the little clip here for uh, the silence mode if you want to put in vibration or, or not and uh, the volume button here uh, on the sides and the power button plus the the sim card here and otherwise for the screen we have here actually IPS LCD but the resolution of 960 by 540 so the T6 has actually the same exact uh, characteristic for the screen so it's actually a IPS LCD 960 by 540 for the resolution. So let's say that actually these two phones have almost the, the, the same screen. So it's comparable. And um, or otherwise this one, you see that we cannot actually switch it. We have actually to press it for here, put the button. So when you press it, this will actually activate the, the silent mode and when you press again it will activate normal mode otherwise we still have the the volume buttons here the power button on the side and here the um, the sim card but which is actually fake so it's it's in plastic so you cannot use the pin to take it off if you want to change the sim card i repeat you have to take off actually the back cover and then you have access to the sim card okay so this part here is actually fake you can even have a look it's just a little hole but that's it, it will never do anything else. So, last but not least is actually the new model. So this one has an IPS LCD HD resolution of 1280 by 720. So resolution actually quite close to the iPhone 6, uh, which has something around 1300 something um, for, for the resolution, so we're quite close by. And we can see that the screen is actually very beautiful. So it has a nice design. So it's almost the same basically than the the original one. The only difference we might find on this screen is actually here. We have this little narrow line which is you can hear it's like I can feel it basically. 
So on the original one, you don't have it, basically. So otherwise, the, the screen looks exactly the same. So it's like curved and rounded on the edges. So you see that the shape is actually very perfect. It's ver it makes it very beautiful, like the original one. So it's very cool to be honest. So this is the only one among the, the three of them which propose uh, such such a solution. I mean, such a solution, such um, a feature. So the other one have so the Wiko i6. This is completely different. So it's like sharp on the edges here. And this one has the same exact, so sharp, very, very sharp. I mean, sharper than actually the Wiko i6 uh, on the edges. So, this was uh, just for the screen, so to tell you what is going on. Uh, here at Electroframe we figured out that actually some people were asking sometimes for the logo, for example for the Star G9000, some people actually like to, to have the, 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 the Samsung logo on the phone, uh, which is fair enough, it's just a personal choice. And um, so what about those clones, you know, which has it and which doesn't have it? So here for the Wiko i6, we have a real uh, Apple logo on the back and which is like built in so uh, it's on top of it, it's really inside so it has been actually digged up alright so it really looks like the real one and we still have here all the iPhones and and inscriptions or signs you know from uh, from iPhone from Apple for the Wiko i6 HD it's slightly different this one is actually put on the top so it's not like dig up it's actually kind of stick on the top you know so we can feel like a little bump when you put your finger on it okay and here is still the same so we still have the the same um, inscriptions as well so the, the last one, the Star King on T6, doesn't have any logo at all, okay? So, no, no descriptions, nothing, so the back cover is completely empty. So it's only the shape that actually reminds uh, us about the, the iPhone uh, 6. That's it. So what are, what are the consequences of having a logo uh, actually on the back? This is very important for shipping, for example. Um, so, for example, here this is like a real replica of the of the iPhone uh, 6. So, if you use free international shipping on our website uh, for all phones, you will never have a problem because I mean, you might have a problem with 99% of the of the cases. Yet yeah, nobody has any trouble with that. So the the custom don't don't disturb at all. So you can ship whatever you want, logo or no logo, it will be no problem. However, for DHL. Uh, as we uh, as we told a lot of customers, they, they they already have their own customs department. So you have basically to be careful because they really check hardly on every package uh, since the past few years. And um, so this is why actually for this kind of uh, copy, we really advise uh, to take free international shipping. It takes longer for sure, but at least you will have less less trouble uh, at the end for. Um, for receiving your parcel. Um, for this one, the Stark England T6, actually, this is no problem at all. You can ship it DHL or uh, post the lens so free or interna free international shipping, and you will have no problem at all just because no logo and this is it's slightly different from the iPhone 6 anyway. So, no problem for this one. It's only for those ones. If you take DHL, we will not be held responsible uh, if the package, for example, is stuck at the customs and they want to destroy it. And if it's considered like a, like a counterfeit or something like that, you know. So if you take DHL, you no, know, for the, for those two phones, for those two clones, you know, please bear in mind that we will not be held responsible if something happens. Uh, however, for free international, free international shipping, you will have no problem at all. And if something happens, we will take care and take charge of it. So, point number five, the colors, uh, which is quite important for the people. So, what do we have? So, for the for the two Wiko i6, it's actually the same. Uh, we have the black, the white, I mean white, silver, and the gold. So, here this is the white, silver. So, we see white 
and beautiful silver. Here is actually the black one. So it looks actually it's quite similar to the to the silver one, but it's just like a bit. We can't really see it here, but it's anthracit, so it's a bit different. And we also have the golden color uh, available for for these two models. Um, and otherwise, for the Star King Eleven T6, only two colors available: so the black or the white. So no golden, no silver, nothing. Only black and white. All right, let's talk about bit the 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 specifications uh, inside of of them. So here, actually, it's almost the same. To be honest, this is actually a common points among the three three phones. So they, they all have the, the MediaTek MT6582 processor, so quad core processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. Um, they all have one gigabyte of RAM in it, and the ROM is actually the, the main difference uh, among all of them. So those two ones have the same, so it's basically you can you can choose different storage uh, when you check out on our website. So you can choose 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 32 gigabytes. And uh, for the Star King on T6 is actually different. It's only 4 gigabytes inside per default, but you can insert uh, SD card. So this is what one major difference. So the the storage actually. So for for the two Wico i6 you cannot insert any SD card inside. So you have to deal with the storage you choose at the beginning, which is like a choice between 8, 16 and 32 gigabytes. However, for the Star King on T6, it's actually quite useful because you have here a slot for the SD card up to 32 gigabytes. So basically you can reach something around about 35, 36 gigabytes altogether, uh, which is a bit more than actually the Wico i6, both of them. But um, And the, the good point for the Star King on T6 is actually you can already take it off whenever you want or change it, so it's quite convenient. How about the SIM cards? Um, so, here for the Wiko i6, uh, this is actually the, the both have the same system like the, the normal iPhone, so you have to take off the SIM card with pin here. So, you just have to insert and you will have like a nano SIM card. So, I can just show you, I can both take them off. So we call i6 HD nano SIM card inside, so 3G DSM. The normal we call i6, actually this uh, this little spare part is actually different. It's very light and it's very like light, light aluminum. Uh, it's not plastic for that. And um, this is a nano SIM card as well. And how about the Star King T6, so this time you don't need any pin, as I told you before, it looks like you can do it, but it's just a hole, you have nothing, you cannot do it, it's fake, basically. So you have to open the back cover, and here we go, you have access to a normal SIM card inside, so 3G GSM. So here you can even see the, the frequencies. And regarding the frequencies uh, for those ones, just look at the screen and, uh, and you will find them. Read them down. The battery, point number nine. So it's actually very important for mo most people. Um, so the, the two Wico i6, uh, they are advertised on a lot of websites with 2800 mAh. Uh, this is actually not very really true, so uh, some people <clears throat> might already know it, but the, the, a lot of Chinese manufacturers actually advertise the product with very good specs, but most of the time is just slightly different in reality. So in this case, uh, for those two uh, Wiko i6, um, the, the battery is maybe more close to 2000 mAh, so for some people it might be a bit short, but it should last a day with a normal use if you don't overuse it for sure. So 2000 mAh and for the Star King Gun T6, we have here 2150 mAh uh, battery, so which is slightly bigger maybe than the than the Wiko i6 or i6 HD, but uh, around about you know you should have the same same time of use um, between the, the three of them. So point number ten. Once we have seen actually all the 
the the the differences between all the smartphones for for the design so we will uh, get back to it later because we still have some points to talk about uh we still have one thing we want to see it's like what is going on when you turn them turn them on so the best for that is just to turn them on one by one So here you can see this is the old one, so the first version we had when it just came out for the first time. So we don't sell this version anymore. So it's only this one or this one. So here the, the version on the Wiko i6 and the Wiko i6 HD is exactly the same. Uh, no difference at all. So this uh, I can just maybe show you how it was before. So this was the, the first uh, review we, we made so it's a bit different from uh, from the other one so so what is what is going on basically so here on the on the Wiko i6 HD and Wiko i6 normal so we have uh, Android so both all of them all of them have uh, Android 4.2 uh, however, for the Wiko i6 and i6 HD we have actually the, the iOS 8 theme on it and however, for the Star King Galon T6, uh, we have the, the iOS 7 theme uh, on it. So it was the same like the first version before, back in the days, I was saying. So you can see that this is almost kind of the same. So bigger icons, and um, this is actually iOS 7. So the, the newest version is actually uh, has um, smaller icons, as you can compare here. It's a bit different. And otherwise, it's almost uh, the same. So we can just compare quickly. So not much difference. Um, what we can compare as well is actually the the touch. I, I mean not the touch. I do the assistive touch. So what is the assistive touch? It's like some phones uh, have it from time to time, and uh, it's actually. A feature that Apple has uh, started so back in the days, so we can see this is the this little stuff you can move all around and it will just get stuck on the on the edges somewhere so here if you type on it I mean if you just tap on it one one time you have access actually to the notification center, the control center, so this is actually quick access to uh, when, you, when you drag your finger down or up, so it's the same. Then you have access to Siri, the menu, home, and the device. So it's actually quite complete for, uh, for an assistive touch. How about the, the T6 itself? So if we go on it, uh, you can see that the same, you can just drag it wherever you want. And then if you click on it, I mean tap on it, you can see that this is actually very, very short compared to uh, to the other one. So you still have access to the menu, to Siri, Home and Back. So that's it. So it's only four functions available on this one. And on the Wiko i6 and i6 HD actually you have much more uh, features like the notification center, control center, home Siri device and menu. So just by the way, uh, the Siri is not the real Siri, it's actually Google speaking. So it's totally different and it's linked to your Google account. So otherwise, um, some people I have heard, and if you have a uh, look at the at the news, so basically the, the the iPhone 6 is supposed to work with the with the Touch ID. So here you can see that it should actually work if I press or just touch actually my my thumb or any finger on it, depending on which one I want to to be recognized. And uh, for that we can just go to the, to the menu, and we see here we have Touch ID and passcode. So. So basically, iPhone lock, iTunes and App Store, you can delete fingerprints, change the fingerprints, but basically on both of them the same. So here we can access the settings too, and you will see we have the touch ID and passcode at the same time. So you can use it to, to make the iPhone lock, but 
However, it doesn't work, it's just a gadget, so you have to, to please bear that in mind that actually it's, it's fake, kind of. So you will still be able actually to, to set up uh, one fake um, fingerprint, so you can just use it if you want just to, to, to make some people go away, maybe they will think that actually it's really secure and it's a real one, so you, you might use it or not, but please bear in mind that this is not secure or safe. So it's just a complete gadget. So one other thing we can compare between uh, the models is actually the, um, the multi-touch. So for that we just have to launch multi-touch tester on both of them. And so this one is only a two-touch two capacitive uh, screen and this one if we put all fingers on it, we see this is a five touch capacitive screen. So this one basically with the Wiko i6 and i6 SG, you will only be able to use only two fingers at the same time. And uh, however, for the star king on T6, you will be able actually to use much more finger. So if, depending on how you use, for example, for the map or whatsoever, it's actually quite, quite convenient from time to time. Regarding the GPS, so this is a big question for people from I mean, most of the time. Uh, here, what I want to say is actually for the for the Wiko i6 and the i6 HD. Let's be realistic. The the GPS is a bit slow, so inside of the house it doesn't really work out. It's very weak. But if you go out, it's actually working quite normal. So it's just just a bit slow from time to time. Uh, however, for the Star King Gun T6 is actually a very good GPS, pretty fast and very responsive. So this is one big, I mean, big difference. This one difference between uh, the the two models, I mean, the three of them. So basically, for the for the real copy one to one, the, the GPS is not that performant compared to actually the the Star King Gun T6. Now, how about the cameras? So we didn't really talk about that before. So here. Um, for the Wiko i6, so the normal one, not the HD, so we have actually 5 megapixels in the front and 8, meg um, yeah, 8 megapixels in the back. However, for this one, so the, the Wiko i6 HD, same on the front, 5 megapixels, but however, we got like a 13 megapixels camera in the back. And uh, same for actually the, the Star King on T6, so 5 megapixels uh, on the front and 13 megapixels on the back. So if you want to, to really have a look uh, at the different features available uh, for, to take some pictures and uh, the different grades of quality that you can get and, uh, and a detailed review about it, so I, I advise you to check our video reviews on our YouTube channel for each single phone, like that you will really have like a a good point of view uh, after that about uh, taking pictures with these two um, copy clones. So basically this is it for uh, this uh, comparison review uh, for the for the clones of the iPhone 6. So the one we the ones we have at this time on our website at www.electroframe.com. Um, so to make a quick summary, so we have uh, the Wiko i6 and the Wiko i6 HD which are uh, the, the most similar, let's say, that's compared to the, to the normal ones. So you could use actually all uh, official accessories on it and it should fit. So like the, the hard case cover or the, the silicon cases or whatever you want to protect your smartphone, it should fit on it. So it's, it can be quite useful. And uh, otherwise, uh, we have the difference between the Wiko i6 and the Wiko i6 HD it's not that much, it's only the the back cover, so for the Wiko i6 HD is actually um, uh, aluminum alloy uh, back cover, so kind of metal, metallic, and for the for the Wiko i6, so it's just plastic back cover, so both of them have the logo, so it really looks like a, a pure uh, copy of the iPhone 6. Um, however, the resolution and the screen uh, are not the same between the two Wiko i6. So on the Wiko i6 HD, we have then uh, IPS LCD HD, so resolution of 1280 by 720, which is quite close to the normal iPhone. And on the Wiko i6, however, the resolution is the same like the Star on T6, so 960 by 540. So basically, uh, this is what you get. So otherwise, uh, a good point about the the new Wiko uh, i6 HD is like the you can notice these round edges uh, for the screens. So it really looks like the, the the original one, and um, 
otherwise we already uh, so show you all the differences so I hope it helped you a bit to go through all the all these different points and uh, to clear a bit your mind about um, which ones would suit the best you know, um, for you and uh, otherwise the last thing we can talk about is actually uh, the, um, the slot here so this is for the, the USB so they're all the same they all use actually the the lightning cable lightning cable uh, from from iPhone so it's not the normal android it's actually it's um the normal lightning so i can just show you here so you see they all all right so all of them uh, are using this one so that's the that's the only common I mean big common point between uh, all the smartphones basically if you have uh, any questions uh, regarding those uh, those clones or those copies uh, please feel free to, to leave a comment below this video and, uh, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We can we can make some conversations and discussions about that and and talk about the pros and cons of every phone in details. Um, don't forget to thumb up this video if you really liked it. And otherwise, I hope it helps you a bit uh, to figure out which clone uh, is best for you. And until then, I hope you enjoy it. And see you later for the next review. Then, bye bye.